If you want to upload photos and videos and privacy is a big concern, you don't want to share data with Google, Microsoft, and all those big players. Well, there's a self-hosted version of Google Photos that will let you upload your photos and videos on your own server. Plus, best of all, it's actually free. The only payment that you're going to have is your actual hosting service. But be aware that if you already have other websites on your hosting service, this is practically going to be on there for free. So no payments at all. It's called Image and you'll be able to use it right now using the Hostinger Docker. Now, in this case, I'm going to show you how to use Image and how you can get this on your Hostinger Docker. Now, Hostinger Docker is a Docker manager where you can install multiple GitHub repositories, including Image, and take full advantage of your hosting service. To do that, you're going to need a BPS plan, and that's where the sponsor for this video comes. It's Hostinger's BPS service. If you go to services, go to BPS, you'll be able to find their BPS plans that they have, which they are pretty affordable. Now, right now they are running the Black Friday sale, which is the lowest price ever. So you'll definitely want to jump on these prices right now. Plus, there's a coupon code that I'm going to show you how to apply. Now, you can grab a BPS plan from $4.99 and all the way up to $19.99. Now, I'll be good to go with KBM2, which has two CPU cores, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and 100 gigabytes of NVMe storage, plus 8 terabytes of bandwidth, which is more than enough for most of us. So I'm going to select this plan because I'm going to show you how to apply the coupon code. Now, the first thing that Hostinger is going to ask you is, how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend the 24 months because you're going to lock in the lowest price and the lowest renewal price. Plus, you'll be able to install the Docker straight from the payment process. But be aware, if you forget or you use a different OS, you'll be able to replace Docker afterwards. So just go to Applications, select Docker, and go through the process. Now, currently, this is the pricing. But if you click on Have a Coupon Code and type in My Code or paste it in, the price is going to drop to $140 with 18 cents. That's for two years paid off for a BPS plan, which is really affordable. Okay, so now to image. Now, when you are in Docker, what you want to do, go to compose, compose from a URL and add the GitHub repository link. You can grab that from GitHub also by clicking on code, grabbing this link and just removing the .git from this. Go ahead and go through the installation process and you'll have access to image right here. The first screen that you're going to see when you install image is the authentication details. So for example, it's going to ask you for the name, email, and password that is going to be used to log inside of here. You'll have full, ac full access to image, including the backend, the settings, the administrator, etc., because this is hosted on your server. So image doesn't have access to this. So it's a fantastic option to have for privacy situations. Okay. So uploading images and photos is practically easy. You can just drag and drop them inside of here from your file manager, or you can click on upload and upload an image really easily. Just go ahead and select it. And the upload process is going to begin. Now image is not a basic file manager. It's actually pretty complex and it's really well built. So it's a great option for your photos and images. Now let's just say that I want to select this. I can go ahead and preview the image. I can go share it by clicking on the share button. Let me go ahead and do it from over here. I can use the share button in case I want to share this. Uh, obviously, you don't want to do that for privacy situations, but you have an option to add a password in case you want to share it with someone and they need a password to access it. Well, that, it, that option is available here. Plus, you can make it expire at a certain amount of time. That way, it just vanishes in air and you'll be able to access that file once that is expired. You also have an option to select all. You can add more. You can favorite this to view them in the favorite library just to keep track and organization. Plus, you have a search bar feature here where you can search for your images and videos. you got a filter, advanced filter here to find your files straight from the search engine here. you got your explorer. you got your map. There's an open source map from OpenStreetMap. If you want to use it, again, this is hosted on your server, which is pretty cool because you'll be able to have access to this straight from your server. So you can view a map from here. Okay. You got your sharing options. So when you share an album, you'll be able to view it right here or share the links. You'll have analytics for these shared items. So it's pretty cool that you're going to know when someone is going to view the file or not. You got your favorite library. So when you favorite one of those videos or images, you got your albums, which is going to help you organize by creating albums and storing your images and videos in those albums to be organized, right? You got utilities here, so you can review duplicates. So it's like a cleaner per se, review large files, manage location, obtain configurator, app downloader in case you want to use the app from the mobile app store that is available too. You got your archive for deleted. You got your locked folder, which has an encrypted additional layer to this. So in this case, let me go ahead and create it really quickly. 
and this is an additional lock to what you have already you got your trash folder and then we have the additional settings here on the right so we got we can make this a light mode dark mode and our options are going to be over here so first off we got the account settings for this account where we can change our password our email our details there's api keys for advanced situations where you want to connect from the outside or send to the outside with the api keys there's a download or notifications partner sharing the pin code uh, purchases etc then you have your administration options so if you want to create a user to have access to this section that is possible too there's no limitations to any of this because it's open source so again it's hosted on your server and the limitations are based on your server only okay you got your jobs for the jobs that are running currently here your settings for all the settings you're going to need available here for the actual administration of this section to change image saying to change the logo it doesn't have to say image here change all that external libraries and the server data is going to be available here for your analytic purposes so you have all those available options here for image so it's a fantastic service to host and manage your photos and videos plus having full privacy by not having these images and photos stored on google photos microsoft photos sure etc this is going to be a better way and method for privacy situations so definitely check it out install it really easily here on the docker manager from hostinger so what are you waiting for sign up right now and don't forget to use my coupon code sasmaster if you plan to grab a hosting plan here so that's a wrap for image